Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at our next method for graphing lines, which is graphing lines using x and y intercepts. Before we jump into our examples, let's talk just a second about intercepts and what is special about them. So when we talk about an x-intercept, that is a place where our graph crosses through the x-axis. And points there are special because they do have an x-coordinate, but since they are not going up or down any, they have a y value of zero. And that is true for all x-intercepts, all points along the x-axis. What about points on the y-axis or y-intercepts? They are the opposite. They only have vertical movement or y movement, but they do not go left or right at all, meaning that they have an x value that is zero. So that's going to allow us to quickly find intercepts and use them to graph our lines. So let's take a look at an example. Graph this linear equation 2x plus y equals 4 using its x and y intercepts. So this is going to be similar to graphing using points, but not just any old points, we're going to use our intercepts. So if I want to find my x-intercept, I'm going to look at what happens when y is 0. And if I want to find my y-intercept, I'm going to look at what happens when x is 0. So we've seen this before. We go ahead and just replace in the variable that we know. So 2x plus 0 equals 4 gives me 2x equals 4 dividing both sides by 2, x equals 2, finishes up my x-intercept. That tells me the equation of this line cross crosses the x-axis when x equals 2. Right there. Doing the same thing to fill in my y-intercept, I'm going to replace x with 0 this time. So 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. 2 times 0 is, of course, 0, so 0 plus y equals 4, so y equals 4, fills in our y-intercept. That means that our graph crosses through the y-axis at the point 0, 4. Now that we have two points on the graph of our line, we can go ahead and connect through them and there we have our graph. All right, let's check that out one more time. Here, looking at the equation negative 3x plus 2y equals 6. We want to graph this once again by finding its x and y intercepts. So, setting up to find solution points. If I want to know my x-intercept, I need to know what's happening when y equals 0. If I want to know my y-intercept, I need to know what's happening when x equals 0. So over into our equation, replacing y with 0. We get negative 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. So negative 3x equals 6. Dividing both sides by negative 3, I get x equals negative 2 filling in my x-intercept. So the graph of this line crosses through the x-axis at the point negative 2, 0, right there. And doing the same to fill in my y-intercept, replacing x with 0 this time. Negative 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. Negative 3 times 0 is, of course, 0, so that leaves me with 2y equals 6. Dividing both sides by 2, I get y equals 3, filling in the rest of my y-intercept. So that tells me that the graph of this line crosses through the y-axis at 3. Now that I have two points on my line, I can go ahead and connect through them. And there we have the graph of negative 3x plus 2y 
equals 6. All right, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.